Hey folks, welcome to Ask Liebs. I'm Lieberman. We got an email today from a Lieber friend. He has intense anxiety, social anxiety, hypochondria, generalized anxiety. He spends most of his time at home. He can't go outside, but he's trying to win the fight against anxiety. And there are a few bright spots in his life. He has a psychiatrist and a neuropsychologist. The psychiatrist prescribed him with medical marijuana to help with his anxiety, and it does help when he takes it. When he takes his medication, going outside isn't a chore. It's actually a pleasurable experience, even one that's fun. And he's a YouTuber with his career starting to take off. But still, the anxiety is putting up a fight. Some days he can't bring himself to take his medication. He's not showing up for doctor's appointments. It's really strangling his potential. So what should he do? Dude, I know that it seems enormous. It's your life. There are so many fucking facets and responsibilities and things that you should be doing to make yourself better and happier and things you're supposed to be taking part of. And oh my God, there's so much of it. Ah! Calm down. Let's take it really slowly. I sometimes talk about my friend Bill in these videos. Bill is somebody who has taught me a lot about how to take care of myself and how to prep myself mentally and emotionally for things that are difficult. And one of the things that Bill taught me is that the only way to maintain mental and emotional stability is to have a daily routine that has nothing to do with work or anybody else, but just is for you. At the same time every day, you should do one to a few things that make you happy or relax you. So every morning, I wake up at 6.30 a.m., I make myself a cup of coffee, I work out for 15 minutes, I take a shower, I make breakfast for me and my girlfriend, and I sit down and I meditate for 10 minutes. They're all simple, small things. Some of them just five to 10 minutes that they take. But doing it every day makes me feel good because it's something that I did for me that has nothing to do with work. It's something small that helps me get centered and helps me take on the day head on and it's all so small that it doesn't feel like a chore to do it. So I would say if you're forgetting to take your medication or if you're forgetting or not able to go to doctor's appointments, maybe let's take it a morning at a time. Let's try to wake up every day at the same time. If you could even just get in the habit of freaking wake and bake, get up, take your medication. Even just that, start really small. There's an app that you can get for your phone. There are several of them, but the one I use is called Commit. I set a goal and there's a button. And every day you click the button and it shows you how many days in a row you've gone. And the longer you go, the more you will want to make it happen every day so that you don't break that chain. So let's just start there. Take your medication every day. Everything else, don't worry about it. That's later. Let's see if you can take your medication every day without a break. Once we've gotten there and that no longer feels like a struggle and it's something that you're able to do daily, let's add one more thing. Let's add an appointment with your psychiatrist every week at the same time. So now we've got two things. We've got medication every day. We've got psychiatrist once a week. And now you're able to do that and you can add a third thing. If you try to tackle all of life all at once, you will fail because there's so many things that you have to take care of. But if you take it one thing at a time and continue to grow your ability to handle stressors simultaneously, it becomes easier to handle. So that's my advice. Take it one step at a time, then one morning at a time, then one day at a time until you can do it all. And I know that you can. I know it seems impossible. I know that you can because I used to be you. I still have days where I don't want to leave this apartment, but I have to. And because I have, and because I built that skill to be able to, I can even when it feels like death. I hope that helps. Folks, that's going to be the video for today. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please let me know down in the comments what you thought. I am Lieberman, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.